Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from computergargar.com and in this video we will look at the easiest way to create a searchable drop down list in Excel. So we can use the drop down list in its normal sense, I can grab a name from a list here or I could begin to type something such as SA and when I use the drop down list it has filtered to only show those options with my search criteria. I have done a video on creating a searchable drop down list before, back in 2017, using multiple formulas. But now, with the filter function, things got a whole lot easier. So, I'm going to show two examples of a drop down list here. For the first example, we have this client on this invoice, and I want to enter a name from my client list from this names sheet. It's a reasonably large list, so I'm going to make it searchable. Now, beginning with this names sheet, the first thing we need to do is identify which of these names meet the criteria of the search. And I'm going to do that using a function called search. So to make sure we're all happy with this to begin with, in cell C2, I'll use this search function, which returns to position of the characters we're typing. Now we ultimately don't care about the position, but the fact that it finds them, it confirms that they're present, is what we do care about. So with this search function, the find text will be the text that is entered from our drop-down list. So if I come back over to the invoice sheet and select the cell which currently doesn't have a list, but ultimately will do, then I'll put in my comma so that I'm prompted for the text to search within. Now that is going to be the list of names. These names are arranged in a table, they're formatted as a table, which is called names. So if I select that column, I get a table called names and a column called names. That will make it dynamic, so if the table grows, my formula will happily pick that up. A comma then asks me for where to start searching from. I'm going to search from the beginning of the name to search the entire characters. So it's kind of a redundant question, but I'm going to enter a number one anyway. Start from the first character of those cells, close bracket and press enter. If I press enter, I've got my dynamic formulas working in this version of Excel. So that will shoot to the bottom of this list of names, confirm that at the moment everything is present. But if I now go over to the invoice sheet, and I type something in, such as MA, and press enter, when I come back over to names, I get these errors. But as I scroll down the list, look at that. There is a name here with MA in it. So it returns the position of MA in that list. And as I scroll down, I can see there's a few there all beginning with MA as the first character. So if it doesn't contain those characters, MA, error message, if it does, the position of them. Let me scroll back up to the top. So as mentioned, we don't really care about the position, but we do have a way here that it's identifying whether they're there or not. What we now want to do is convert that into something usable, such as a true-false. So let me come back to that first formula. And I'm going to add a function called isNumber around what we have. So if there's a number, return true. If there's not, return false. So now when I add that, the job is done. I've got trues and falses. Scrolling down to that name from earlier, I can now see a true. Now we need to filter it, and this is where our filter function is coming in. If you're new to the filter function, I have a link in the description of this video to a video I've done all about the filter function. It's a dynamic array function that is only available for people in Office 365. So you really need to be on Office 365 for all the new features that is coming out in Excel, this being one of them. Going back to that first cell, I'm adding the filter function. It's going to prompt me for the array to return. That is going to be the list of names from a name table. 
comma. What to include, that is what we have already created. The ones that meet that true false criteria. On the end of this, I can put my comma, I can see the prompt underneath telling me where I am at all points when you're writing larger formulas like this. What do you want to do if the filter function returns nothing? If nothing meets your search criteria? I'm going to put an empty string, as in return no names. You may decide on something else here, to either return all the names or to return a string such as nothing found. I'm going to choose to do nothing, close off my bracket and press enter. So only the names that include the letters MA are being returned. Now it's time to go back over to the invoice sheet and create our drop down list. So I've currently got the sales and MA at the moment. If I just remove that, come into my data tab, data validation. On the settings tab, I want to allow a list. And the source for this list is back to the names sheet. I'll click in the very first name mentioned, cell C2, and then put in that hashtag or that pound sign to reference a spilled range, a dynamic array technique there. So it doesn't matter how big or small this list is, it's going to be everything from C2 to the bottom of it. If I click OK, I have the drop down list. And if I go to use it, if I type SA and use my drop down, at the moment, I get this error. Now, this is caused by something in our data validation settings. So let me cancel this, go back into data validation. And when you're creating searchable drop downs like this, we should go and turn off the error alert. And we can do that with this little checkbox here, show error alert on invalid data. If I click OK now and go to use it, SA drop down, it's working successfully and it's returning all the names where SA is included. Doesn't care where the SA is included, whether it's first name or last name or somewhere in the middle, for example, Isabel there, they get returned. And if I start adding more, so if I go into that cell and put a B in as well, SAB, then Isabel only is returned. Or if I remove it and put JA and try that, then we've got five names with JA. So here we have our searchable drop down list. Very easy to do, just one column with three functions search, is number, and the excellent filter function. Now let's look at another example to make things a little bit more specific. Now, for an example like the previous one, searching for names, the fact that it was searching anywhere in their name was possibly quite useful because we could search either the first name or the last name, depending on how we wanted to try and shorten the list or find the individual. But for the next example, I want to drop down list for countries. And if we go to a sheet called countries, I have a list of, you guessed it, countries <laughs> in a table called countries. And we want to filter this. Now, in this example, I personally can't see much in the way of benefits of searching anywhere in the list. If I'm Canada, I'm going to type CA. Just like when you're typing formulas in Excel. If I go to type a formula and put equals SU, it's all the ones that begin with SU. It's not searching for the letters SU anywhere in their name. And that's the behavior I want of this searchable list. So let's start by filtering the names like we did before. I'm going to use the search function again. Now it's probably worth mentioning that there's also a function called find. And the only difference between search and find is that find is case sensitive. Now I'm going to ignore it in my example. I want to use search, but that might be something you're interested in to force the case that people type in as well. But I'm going to use search. The find text is over on the invoice sheet, this time the country cell, cell D6. Comma, where are we searching for it? Back to the country sheet, the country column of the countries table. Comma, start for number one, close bracket. 
we know that's going to be dynamic and return these numbers. Let me go back in and add the is and a function. No, you don't have to do it in this iterative process like I'm doing. If you're confident, you can just write it straight out with filter. But this is just how I want to demonstrate it right now. Is number goes in, we now have the trues and falses. And then if I add in my final step for the moment, just to repeat what we did before, and throw in the filter function to return the country, comma, what to include, what we've written, and on the end, the empty string. So at the moment, exactly the same as before. There's my countries. If I come over to invoice and I type CA, and let's come over to countries, it's filtering for the CA. And we can see that the Dominican Republic and South Africa and Jamaica are coming in, and I don't want them. The only ones that make sense in my eyes are Cambodia and Canada, those that begin with CA. So back to our formula, and let's fine tune it a little bit more. Where we have the search, and it's searching from the value from cell D6 in countries. Around that, I'm going to use the left function. I want to intentionally search just from the left hand side of those names. The text will be what we've got countries, comma, the number of characters. Well, it depends what I've typed. I've typed CA, but I could have typed CAN. So I'm going to use the len function to return the number of characters that were typed. Open bracket. Where's the text? I'm going to copy what I've got here. I could just click on the other sheet, but I'm gonna copy this invoice D6 and just paste it in my len function and close off the len function. Then close off the left function and that is what we want. If I press enter, now it's only the countries that begin with CA. Let's pop back over to the invoice sheet and finish this off by adding in the data validation list. Data validation, let's remove the error alert, over to settings, list, and the source, back to countries, click in the first cell, and put in our hashtag for the dynamic spill reference. And if I click OK, so if I type CA and use my drop down, there we go. If I typed EN and use my drop down, I have nothing. But if I put SP, I drop down and I get Spain. So I can see that is working how I wanted. Let me put Spain in there. So two searchable drop down lists there using a filter function along with other text functions such as search, find, len, left to get what we wanted. It is so easy nowadays because of that filter function. I hope you found this video useful. Please check out some of our other tutorials on our YouTube channel and come check us out at computergaga.com.